The transform component of a game object includes its position, rotation, and scale. What we'll do in this lesson is talk about scaling. So when you select a game object, you will notice that the default scale is 1. If I go here and click on the scale button, the scale gizmo will appear in my game object, and that allows me to change the size of my game object very easily by simply dragging the handles that appear in the gizmo. You can see that I can scale my game object in all different directions and I can scale it either up or down as well, so I can make it bigger or smaller. How does this exactly work? What is a scale? If we have a cube that has a size of 1 in all sides, and let's say that this is x, so that's the x direction, if I want to change the scale of x and set that to, to 2 or to any number, what I'm doing is multiplying that number by the size of the object in that direction. So if we set if, if we set this at 2, we're now effectively doubling the size on x. So the, the final um, object will look something like that, and this will have a size of 2. So when you have a scale that is greater, greater than 1, you're increasing its size, and when you set a scale that is less than 1, you are effectively reducing the size of the game object. If we set a scale of, say, 0 0.5, what we're doing is reducing the size in half. So if we had our cube like this, and we went and reduced the size on uh, the scale on x in zero, uh, to, and set it to 0 0.5, this is the x direction, then the cube will be reduced to something like this. So it will, the size will be cut in half, basically. You can easily see that here, for example, if I'm increasing z here to a number that's greater than 1, it's bigger, and if I reduce it, eventually you set it to something smaller and you're reducing the size. We have now covered the transform, so you know about position, rotation, scale, and in order to access these buttons here in a, in a, um, quickly, if you don't want to be clicking the buttons, you can use the keyboard as well. So by using the, the keys Q, W, E, and R, that allows you to easily go through all of these tools. Remember that the first one allows you just to move the scene. It's the same thing that you can do with the middle button of your mouse. And regarding this last button here, it is used to resize two-dimensional objects, so we're not using that for now. We're work working with three-dimensional objects here. Another topic I wanted to cover in this lesson is that of parent-child relationship in between game objects in Unity. So far, all the game objects that we've worked with don't have a parent. They are top uh, objects here in the hierarchy. But you can have that kind of relationship between two objects. So what I'm going to do is create another object. So I'm right-clicking, I'm going to 3D object, and I can select from the different primitives. So I'm going to pick a cylinder. So I have a cylinder now. Let me change its position. So I'm pressing the letter Q just to uh, start using these, these shortcuts. And if I want this cylinder to be a children of the cube, all I have to do is drag it in here in the hierarchy view, you can drag the cylinder onto the cube. And now that relationship has been established. What does that exactly mean? What it means is that the transform of the children is relative to the parent. For example, if I move the parent, you can see that the child object moves along. The position of the, the cylinder is no longer in relation to the origin in the world space but it's in relation to the origin of the parent. The origin of the parent is this point that we see here. That is the parent's pivot point. The position of the cylinder is thus established in relation to that point. For example, if I set the cylinder to, to a position of zero, that will actually put it in its, in its origin, in the origin of the parent. So if I move the parent around, the parent, as you can see, it's not on the origin, so it's in a different position. And yet, if I go to the children, the children is in the origin, because that is in relation to the parent. So I'm going to move that away. I can also change, for example, the scale, and the scale of the children will 
adapt accordingly. This parent-child relationship will be used all over the place and you will be using it all the time when working with Unity. Some situations, for example, imagine that the parent object is a player, so I'm going to rename this. You can right click and click on rename. You can also press F2, so I'm going to call this player and let's imagine that this is some sort of a tool or weapon and imagine that your, your player needs to be carrying this around uh, so this parent-child relationship allows you to easily do that. The parent, imagine, needs to be carrying a gun or, a, or some tool or some item. So that is one case. Another example is, if you recall the challenge of the position lecture, there was a sort of humanoid figure that was made of different cubes. So that is another example where you might want to put all of that inside of a one parent object and then you just move that parent object. But the, ob the parent object contains the different parts of the, of the game character or whatever item or thing that you want to have in your level. Another example, imagine that your your scene has, I don't know, 500 trees and you don't want to have all those 500 elements here because it's going to be very hard to, to, to navigate this hierarchy view. So what you can do in those cases when you want to group elements, you can create an empty object and put them inside of that empty, ob empty object. So I'm going to create an empty object. You can go to create here, create empty, or you can do right click and then create empty. And so you can call this, for example, environment. And then you could have a lot of different elements, for example, different trees. So you can add, you can add elements like that directly into another, inside of another object. So we've covered a lot of ground and what I want you guys to do now is have some hands-on practice. So we're gonna go to, to challenge mode. So let's open that challenge. And this challenge consists on opening this scene that's, that's gonna have a tree, a nice looking tree and a very distorted tree. So what you uh, have to do in this challenge is going to this element, which is gonna have, it's gonna be a parent with some children and I want you to change the scale, only the, the scale, don't change the position or anything else. And change the scale of the, you have to change the scale of the parent and also of the children so that it has the same scale values that, that this other tree. So start by going to this other tree and see what values are present for scaling. And then go to this tree and try to change those values so that it matches the other tree. So have a try and pause your video and then I'll show you the solution. All right, so assuming you've had a try, I'm gonna show you how you can easily solve this challenge. So I'm gonna go and open the challenge file. And no, I don't wanna save this, this scene. And this is located in another project. Yes, I wanna open that, uh, another project. All right, so my scene is ready and I'm ready to solve that challenge. So let's go and see how we have this environment object, which contains the ground, tree, nice looking tree and ugly looking tree. So nice looking tree has a scale of one in here. And this one has a scale of five. So let's start by changing that to one so that they match. Now, if we go inside both of them, there's a trunk that has a scale of 0 0.2, one, 0 0.2. So I want to copy, I want to, I want to have that same thing here. And now on top, I have one, two, one. So I'm going to go here and make sure that I also have two in here. So that's looking a little bit better and one in here. So there we go. We've got now both trees um, looking the same. So get ready for the next lesson where we will cover the basics of materials. So you can see how all of these things look good because they have colors, they have materials. So that is what we're doing next.